on here guys i'm an rc quadcopter enthusiast i've built and flown dozens of quadcopters over the past few years and current proposed legislation from the faa would make doing so illegal we're now in the comment period in which people has the ability to voice their objections and propose alternatives this is my comment I found that building, configuring, learning how to assemble quadcopters is the biggest gateway for people entering STEM fields of our time. I have a vested interest in getting the next generation passionate about STEM. I had the opportunity to work in a NASA robotics lab when I was only 17 years old. In the four years that I spent there, I worked on prototypes for flying objects, for rover projects, and most notably the Robonaut Robotic Astronaut Project that eventually had a flight version made and flew on mission STS-133 to the International Space Station. During my years there, I worked on all different types of electronic systems, learning how to solve complex problems and issues that a lot of times no one had ever attempted before. In the time there, I learned to really think in a different way, a way to approach problems that don't have clear solutions, come up with ideas that are not always clear. And this boost really allowed me to excel and contribute to other industries in ways that seem to take a lot of other people many more years to master. In the years since, I've worked alongside rocket scientists, inventors, and brain surgeons. And I often have thought, how can we as a society begin teaching this way of thinking to our young people who don't have the same opportunity to work in a job like I did when I was a teenager? In 2015, I found the answer. Building, configuring, and flying quadcopters requires developing a different way of troubleshooting extremely complex systems. It requires knowledge of assembling a list of components to meet your particular needs for that particular project. It requires that you learn how to configure, assemble, learn how electronics go together, solder them up, program the flight controllers, troubleshoot the different parameters in order to get it to fleet, to fly towards your particular needs. And the prize at the end of all of those hours of learning and work are the immense joy of experiencing flight. STEM programmers for years have been looking for a way to get more and more young people to show up to take their time in order to learn some of these advanced concepts. And it is so difficult nowadays to get those young people to give up their time gaming or on social media and figure out, we've been struggling as a community, as a country on how to get people to show up and participate, to plant the seeds that lead to productive careers and eventually great discoveries. I've participated in numerous exhibitions, demonstrations, and races at local schools, and as well as the Museum of Aviation in our local community. The rise in STEM attendance reported by the teachers that coordinated those events has been immediate and sharp. The proposed legislation would eliminate all of this. Building your own craft and flying anywhere other than designated free of fields would no longer be legal. Dozens of US-based businesses related to these markets would be forced to close. The competitors in China and other countries would still be able to operate. They would gain massive amounts of market share. And as a result, they would continue to develop the technology further in a way that benefits those nations and keeps the US in the dark. It's easy to see that to develop a professional athlete, those people get started from a very young age. You can see the tapes of professional musicians, athletes, all other high level performing industries when they're children and they really develop those passions and they have those years and years of experience prior to becoming professionals. So why don't we in the same way develop our STEM professionals by getting them 
interested in these technologies from a young age. This is a critical time where we're desperately as a nation trying to boost STEM participation. One of the things that I learned working at NASA is that it is an assembly of the best and brightest people from all around the world, all different types of cultures. But if you talk to them over and over and over again, you'll hear the stories that they develop those passion from a young age, either being an RC enthusiast, flying rockets or other science-based hobbies. These are what cemented those passions that last a lifetime and we all benefit from those every single day. The proposed legislation removes the United States from future contention on a global stage in a time period where we need to be doing anything that we can to boost STEM participation. We simply cannot afford to destroy those dreams before they take hold. On December 17th, 1903, the Wright brothers, after numerous failed attempts, achieved the first manned flight. A discovery that everyone on earth has benefited from in the years since. A discovery that took place right here in the United States. So please do not stifle this generation's Wright brothers. We cannot afford to lag behind the rest of the world in birthing our scientists, technicians, engineers, and mathematicians. For more detailed alternatives to the current proposed legislation, please see the FPV Freedom Coalition's um, document. The current method of requesting permission for flight via an app can really allow for a greater safety and awareness of where the hobbyists are in the airspace and allow us to be in those safe areas and also allow us to continue to share the air and in doing so share a better future please everyone go to the link in the description below submit your comment to the faa let them know how you feel if you are an fpv enthusiast if you are an rc enthusiast if you know anybody that is or if you have an interest in continuing to grow our future leaders in STEM fields. This is critical that we all comment. There is a protest scheduled very soon in Washington, DC. I'll have details about that in the link below as well. Thanks guys.